the arm. We know from previous that previous evenings that a little bit of rain won't stop us. We're ready for the first ball. Here we go. Game 17 starts with a pretty... Oh, he's hit this one straight. And that is going to... Yeah, straight, right, go straight past far. us. There we are in the commentary car. <laughs> a wavy hello, you can see. Yeah, it's a good shot. Again, there you go. It's a bit... I don't like what I said, but it's short and wide, outside off, and he's just played the old straight pull. Release the pressure of captaincy. Yeah, well, that one's short, and he's pulled it away. It's going to go past the fielders there. It might make it to the fence unless they are quick enough, and a very good job there. That was fantastic work. And that one's short and really nicely pulled. Down behind square leg. That's found the gap and found the boundary. So a good four there to Al Huck. He's got the top edge, and there's a man there behind the stumps, but lovely, lovely seeing. Lovely again. <laughs> Hasn't even gone for it. No, he didn't. He was... I'd love to take it. Oh, attacking oh. the pads now, but it's been lifted up by Al Huck, and he's beaten the fielder at backward square leg as well. Two boundaries, and it's over. And then it's the arm ball, which catches the top edge and almost carries to the man there, building a square leg. There, making it all, just exactly that. He reckons he's got an edge. Umpire he's him. agrees. So there we go. That's some good bowling from Saqib Mohammed. He tried the arm ball and followed it up with one that just kind of lifted a little bit. Something up with yes, the 15 wide. Exactly, so yeah. Really helping themselves there. So well. There's a top edge going straight up in the air. And lovely seeing, is it? No. no. It is not him, but the fielder who did come down. Unfortunately, we were just bending a low score. It's kind of the pitches that they've uh, put in place as that one's found the gap. And it's going to take some work from Nugman, and he does it with his left foot. And all the cricket coaches out there cringe as they watch that one. Did the job, though. Cleaning the rope, even though they do have the fielders back. Oh, he's bowled him. That's what he tried to do. But this, this one, a little bit starting a little bit outside off and moving into the batter, playing across the line, takes out his middle and off stump. And that is the end of Anwar al Haq. Yep. Singh putting that one up again, and that's been driven straight down the ground, right up in the air. It's coming down with interest and cannot be taken by the fielder out there. So, letting themselves down in the field, they could have had two more wickets than what they've got. Lovely Singh comes in. And that one's been hit straight up in the air and has been taken. Lovely Singh, well, oh, there he let is. go of the captaincy, but don't let go of that ball because he has finally hung on to one. And that's how you do it, lads, run deep. That's how you hold on to one. There is a little bit of doubt there, but it was definitely a good shout. Oh, I'm right oh, on the stumps again. Well, repeat, rinse and repeat. Lovely Singh, you have done such a great job for your team. You can take a bow because he's picked up three for nine of his two overs and put his team in a very, very dominant position. And the slow ball, he's hit that one straight. It's gone right it's up in the air. There's a man up. coming around. Is he going to get there? No, he gets lost in the... Oh, this could be a run out. It oh, is going to be a run great out. Great work. Sensational fielding. Good awareness from the fielder there. Well, I was going to say, it got lost in the Bermuda Triangle of confused fielders, but one of those fielders was not confused. Knew exactly what he was doing. He's come that line again. Maybe he's just coming back into the batter. He's hit it right up in the air. It's been really well taken. Great, great work there by Nagman Hussein. The nag man takes a good safe catch out in the deep. And another Hero Subadel batter has to walk back to the shed. Good catch out in the deep. You see, he gets quite a lot of it. It's never going for six. He's on the move. It's not an easy catch, that. And he leaves two or three boundaries. And that has been hit cleanly. That is going all the way up, up, up and away into the school next door. That's a big six. Answer. Well, is he the answer? They've left it late, but better late than never. What's run deep got? He puts on that line again, but that is once again hit straight Oof. up in the air. It just falls short. Might have just got a hand to it. Was a catching chance. Difficult one though, and well, they're, they're running for as many as they oh, can. He's Overthrows. Running himself out now. Yes. Oh, so well. Khalid, cross-handed bandit, doesn't get to fire a shot because after being there for one run out, he is there for another. His own, and he's walking back to the shed. He wanted the strike there, didn't he? Yeah. You could see there's never a run there. One of the more consistent performers. So oh. no, he might have found an edge. 
It was a good ball again, just forcing the batter to play to him rather than anything else. And that's the end of it. So they're 10 overs. They didn't breach that 70 mark. 67, is it? The total they put on 64. They've made. Losing seven wickets in the process of their 10 overs. So a run rate of 6.4. The batting units that they're facing as Al Huck comes in. Here we go. Ready to start the second innings. And he gets Oof. it wrong. Very wrong. Yeah, he's in there. Oh, he is too. Excuse me. So, oh, they've got a wicket. So, first up, Al Haq. He makes an indent into this Fudder team, picking up the, picking up Singh. Let's have a look at the replay. And that one's short outside off, and it's been slapped into cover, where it's oh, like a direct oh. hit. Sharp fielding. I think he made it back. Mm. They might have a look at this one. That's really good pick up and throw though. The man coming in from point just takes it in one hand and pings down the stumps. Oh, that one where he swung the bat at that and he's managed to find it flying over the midfield, running once, twice, bouncing over the rope for four. So much better line, and that's been dragged down the onside over the infield and running away to the boundary for another four. Oh, he's that's the a there big and that's been taken, yes. Yeah. Great bowling in response. Abbas, he put it in short. He knew that Mia was looking to play cross batter to pretty much everything, and he did it that time, but caught the big top edge and well taken by the cross handed bandit there behind the stumps. And that's that's another, another one. edge, and that's another wicket. Well, look at that. He's on a hat trick. Can you believe it? He just has found his line, finally decided the short ball is working. And finds another edge straight through to the cross handed bandit who takes it cleanly. This one has got a big top edge. There's a fielder standing under it, and then he takes it safe as houses. That was Mubashar Ishad who never looked in doubt. And once again, you just see if you approach those high catches with a cool, calm, collected head. Actually, that one was given a run. Oh, and so he's hit that straight. Well, that's going all the way up, up and away. Watch out, MSTV crew. Your production man's in danger because that is a big six to Saqib Muhammad. A great shot, shot of the evening so far. They wanted that. That's a good shot as well. He's just come down the pitch, bowler dropped it in short and he adjusted midway through and played coming down the pitch and he's not going to play sensibly on that he's going to smack it as far as he can and it's going to be enough because it's going up 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 and away another big six to Saqib Muhammad a great shot sensational batting something to happen oh, he might get something here because that's hit him in line and the umpire agrees well if anything it was going down leg side but he got stuck on his crease he's just stopped using his feet which he was doing so well before Throwing up again, that's a full toss, and it might make it all the way to the field of there, so it's not over. It's uh -oh. not a Fatah complete, because Fatah, they are certainly making it difficult for themselves. The six wicket falls, and they're still... Oh, that one's pretty well played, but it's oh, been played got straight him. to the fielder, and well, it is certainly not all going to plan here for Fatah which is pretty much what you can expect from a team as unpredictable as them. God. Looping oh. it up, and he might have pulled. No, I think the keeper's he's bowled hit him. him. No, he's bowled him. Yeah, he's bowled he him. He has bowled Absolutely. him. Absolutely. Oh, my God, it's oh, happening. He has. This oh. is what they don't need to do. Well, so it's all safe. Oh, oh he's going gonna to get another one. He's he been is. given. Oh, my God, Fate. Oh, he is. Here is Sobadell. Well... This has been a game-changing performance by Shazad, and he's just done an absolute job tossing up some pretty... Just in six balls to take their first win of the tournament. Oh, and that's just alive. leave it, lovely. That's just alive. leave it. Yeah, just leave <laughs> just it. Just and leave it. Could see golden ball. We could. Oh, it's on the stumps. They're no. going to ask the question. What's the other guy to say? Going down no, a leg. That's definitely not out. Also a bit of confusion. Oh, he's going to smack that one, but he's not going to get any runs for it. Because... The fielder there, and they're applauding him. It was a good stop. They are aware it's been happening in this tournament. Walk down the pitch. Yes, lovely thing's got a piece He's of done it. it. He's done it. He's hit it all the way to the boundary behind square. Four, four runs, and Fate. Well, they took us right to the end, and they've managed to pull off what was looking like a pretty <laughs> unlikely victory at stages. What should have been a Fate complete was not.
until it was done by Lovely Singh with a pretty lovely bit of work there to the short ball drifting down leg. What a game, what a game. So Fate win their first game for this tournament and Hirasabado will be bitterly disappointed.